A lot of other coin rarities are trading for extremely high prices. Is this the same phenomenon in ancient coins as well? Uh, yes. We see, you know, it used to be 50 years ago a Naxos Tetragram was $10,000. One that I bought for $175,000 in the 70s recently sold for a million dollars. So the ultimate was a $100,000 coin. You couldn't imagine that. And now almost everything is a hundred thousand. I mean, more coins than you'd ever imagine sell for a hundred thousand dollars. And even though you tell clients that's the price and that is the price, you still have to think, is this the real reality? But it is now. But over the 49 years I've been in business, I've seen ebbs and flows and uh, we don't know what the future leads to. We think that the prices are going to continue about where they are because there's less coins. And before, you'd send out a catalog and you'd put an ad in a publication. Now, everything's on the internet, so there's a lot more communications. And there's people buying all over the world who you never met, who you never could reach. So everything's different and we have to see what the new reality brings.